Welcome back again. You're still watching us here on The Breakfast Show. It's time to take a look at our first segment uh, for this morning. And uh, our segment is going to be focusing on uh, building a new capital in Egypt because the country, particularly uh, Cairo, has become so overpacked with traffic. Transportation has become really difficult. Uh, not only that, but also the pollution, both noise and air pollution, is affecting the buildings and the surroundings. So um, we're trying to, uh, uh, as part of developing the country, not only on the political and economic level but on the society level um, we're trying to find means of uh, moving out the ministries or the most important institutions in Egypt where um, hundreds of thousands of Egyptians flock into every single day to try to uh, loosen the traffic jam and that would give of course the space for the government to work more on the infrastructure and uh, 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 innovating and further making the rest of the services in Egypt and uh, uh, Cairo in particular uh, very easy to shed more light on this very important issue. We're very delighted to have joining us here in the studio, Engineer Hatem El Banna, a civil engineer. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Good morning, sir. And um, just my question: How far are we capable of building a new, uh, just as you said, capital? Uh, maybe you are thinking of, for example, Washington D.C. You want to do something like this uh, to move everything outside Cairo? Yes, yeah, so this is. Is uh, this the dream? Or yeah, the, this is, the, of the course, it's, uh, it's a dream and it's a vision. Uh, I don't know why uh, all the ministry, ministries or uh, the presidency palace or everything like this is in Cairo, which is, uh, you know, it's like a historical capital. It's very old, it's very ancient, and we can uh, use it as, uh, as of this uh, issue. Uh, but I need uh, something in the, ha the core of Egypt. Uh, which will be very near to the Mediterranean Sea, will be very near to the south and also the Red Sea and the Libya borders. Uh, so in this way, uh, command Upper Egypt people uh, can go there, can get uh, their uh, work there and not to come all the time to, uh, to, to, to Cairo uh, because, you know, Cairo yani after maybe five years or maybe less than this uh, will be blocked. You want to go back to the ancient times? Yeah. When Upper Egypt and Thebes yeah, used yeah, to be yeah, the yeah, capital. Thebes was, was in the core, you know. Uh, uh, Egypt was not, uh, this is not the border of Egypt, you know. Egypt was Egypt and Sudan. So they big uh, a core, the city, and make it the capital. You know, it's uh, some kind of Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. It's mm. in the core of the, uh, of the country. And w when I go there, I distribute the population again. And uh, in this way, I will not uh, ignore e uh, Cairo. But no. It's for the benefit of Cairo, actually. Definitely. Because, you know, we, we live on Cairo, which is uh, a historical city, most of it. And, you know, only maybe uh, New Cairo or maybe uh, Masr Gedida, which is now is ancient already. Mm -hmm. So, uh, capital in the, in the core of Egypt, besides the one, many capitals or many cities, big cities, uh, one in Sinai, one in the south, uh, can be a good thing to evacuate Cairo, make Cairo a good city and put all the ministries or anything politically in this core this will come maybe we uh, can rebuild the uh, cairo at that time yeah you can is make it so like an open the museum. point is that uh, you know according to researches and reports is that by 2020 the there will be a zero movement uh, in Cairo and what you're saying what is very interesting and actually it was a, a, a project that was suggested during the Mubarak era but never really uh, was implemented it's going to take a lot of time yeah. uh, and we're talking about eight years from now so yeah. plus the instability in the country is slowing down the process of any kind of mm -hmm. development that could take place H how are uh, we going to be able to resolve this problem before yeah the city completely becomes whole to zero mm. movement I, I think this will help in stability uh, you know when you make something like this uh, all the people will be uh, encouraged about this and they will love their country maybe you can make uh, uh, jobs for uh, for the youth and this will help in the stability uh, what's your other question, please? Yes, uh, the mm. time period is very short. I yeah. mean, because oh, reports is, suggest yeah. that in 2020, the country, the city will completely come to a halt. Yeah, uh, in, in this issue, we, if we get the traditional ways to make a new city, uh, of course, it will take centuries, not only eight years old. But we have to get the innovative, uh, something like low cost, but very fast uh, techniques, which is already in the world uh, make good transportation at once 
make uh, internal flights or local flights very cheap. You don't have to, uh, to, pay, to get benefits from local flights. Uh, uh, the trains, uh, the, the, the make it free tickets for the people to go there. Sir, let's you be know? more practical because you are tackling certain issues that talking about the trains, how long are we talking we, that we have been talking about the trains and the cra clashes and the crashes, all what took place. We all know how many people just died uh, a very short period of time because of the trains. Talking about flights, how are you going to arrange it? For example, we were talking about, uh, you know, cheap uh, flight tickets yes. and using some small planes. Now we have in Egypt the small planes with the same price of the big planes. Well, this is why I'm telling you. So Any how far ca are we capable of re-evaluating re and uh, doing all this? Oh, this and is who will accept it? Because you have lobbying as well. well this is the, the ch our challenge. Yeah, and if we, uh, as I said, if we use the traditional ways, if we use the same issues that we use you can it's a small small project takes maybe three years or four years uh, this is not a good uh, a good uh, technique and when they go to the moon they get proposals uh, one of the proposals were 50 years they just see the 50 years they said no this will not go to the moon because uh, the, the project will will continue with the uh, grand uh, the grandsons so when he sees uh, when he saw uh, 10 years he said okay we accept this proposal so this is what i'm talking about innovative things about out-of-the-box ideas. Uh, you know, I don't know why uh, flight, uh, local flights are expensive. I don't know why. Yeah, anyway, in Saudi Arabia, uh, local flights are very cheap. It's yeah, near the passes. Uh, you know, uh, you, you, you can benefit from the plane uh, in, the, in the international flights, but in the local flights, you can make it free. You can support this, okay? Uh, this is some kind of the new ideas. Uh, the innovative ideas. Yeah, but you're, so you, you're basically because you're assuming that to, to, to create another or establish another capital, you would need a flight to take it to take uh, take you over there. Why not? But um, Cairo itself is a very big city, and there are a lot of there's a huge amount of desert in in Cairo. And the point is just that in Egypt there seems to be a mismanagement in in the structure of where to put the institutions. For instance, there are certain areas in Cairo where there are millions of people flocking in and out of it every day. Mm -hmm. Let's take, for example, Tahrir Square and what's around it. You have the Tahrir yes. building. Yes. That's like, I, I mean, uh, there are 100,000, if not more, employees and millions going in and out. You have the embassies around. Yes. You have the, I, the television building. Yes. So in this block in alone, <laughs> in this block alone, you're talking that about at uh, least uh, this, <laughs> this block alone in the downtown area, you need yeah. at least 5 million Egyptians yes. flocking in and out of it so yes. you need just a, a shifting of, of of the institutions to another area in the outskirts of Cairo which as I said is a project that was already supposed to be implemented why is it delayed because if a bus can take the employees it's to downtown they can take them to the outskirts of Cairo to the 6th of October city to new Cairo well if you yeah, to a shuru. yeah if uh, well, this is why if you use new new Cairo as a capital it will be like any yeah, it's very bad thing why because when they built the new cities, they uh, assume that you will travel to this city and be there, immigrate. Yeah, you, can, you can stay there, take your family. But the problem is it's very near. So yeah, each time, yeah, for myself, my job in 6 October, and I live in Medinet Nasr. So every day I go from Medinet Nasr to 6 October. So you are enjoying? Enjoying, yeah, very, uh, <laughs> a very nice trip yeah, every day. And people in 6 October come to Medinet Nasr to work. So this is why this is this is this will block. But that, that's never going to work. I mean, you would never find a job and your house at the same area. No, this is no, this is. No. The new, you can the if you find a job, it's thank God you should be thankful for it. But you can't even choose where to have your job no, somewhere close I, to your I residence. Built, if I built a new a new capital or a new project, a national project, okay, and finance it by all the uh, countries and yani, I think every country in the world. Uh, wants to, to to investment in Egypt. Yani this is uh, this is uh, true, and I practice this myself. Every yani every company or multinational company or a country, they will be very happy when they see their name on a city in Cairo. Yeah, so the finance is already there. I, this is my belief. Okay, and this will may, will create jobs to people, but I will not make it as industrial or commercial uh, city only. No, I have to put cinemas, I have to put theatres, I have to put some of the Al-Azhar uh, 
for religion studies okay so i can go there enjoy my time uh, and increase the cultural life of upper egypt people come on they will be happy they will uh, yani share with the egyptians as uh, yani uh, feel that they are uh, sharing in their country but you sir know? who is responsible for that uh, dream or plan if you are thinking about it on the whoever is responsible was there any uh, sort of contact with the government or the prime minister or, well, or actually, is, it, is it just a dream that came to to the mind yeah it's not yani it's not like a dream uh, what that we uh, see in our uh, yes i know dream, but yeah. what i but mean is that we are all dreaming of better life right yeah. and definitely for example what you are talking about i agree with you 100% because simply if it's going to take me for example 2 hours and i have the same problem by the way to come to my work how am i going to look like after 2 hours just sitting in my car and vice versa you know this is something very much hectic so no one will ever go to to his work fresh and be capable of working yeah. so what I, what i meant right now yes we are all dreaming yeah what is next well what is next yani you know Uh, I think uh, Engineer Ibrahim Mahlab, the Minister of uh, Housing, uh, I know him, he knows me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think he, he is very active about this and I uh, uh, think about, uh, try to go to him. Or so there was a contact or, was, or no, not no, yet? No, still not, still not. Okay. But this is in my uh, But you plan. have a project, you have uh, a plan, written plan, for example. You with know, the, with the budget, with the, with everything. No, 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 no. Of course, not, not. just an yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, just an idea because you know we are all in north. Yani, uh, yani yeah. even Cairo. I, yani, I, I, I consider it in the north of the of the country. What about the the the, the, the country? We have industrial zones. Mm. We have something like mm. that. But we need. A capital, you know, yes, and we and we do need, of course, at the end, uh, more organization to the system. Because I mean, if if we're having problem, how is China coping with billions of uh, of, of 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 citizens overpacked each other? It's just, I think, all a matter of system and organization as well. Um, once again, we're very much delighted to have you joining us here in the studio, Engineer Hatem El Banna, civil engineer. Thank you for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Thank you. And right now, let's move on to a quick break, and we'll be back.